In this video, you will learn how to subtract across zeros. Zeros can be tricky when borrowing, so this video will help you borrow with multiple zeros. So we start in our ones place where we have zero minus five. Since we can't take away anything here, we have to cross out and regroup. There is nothing in the tens place to take, so we are going to go to the hundreds place to borrow. So we're taking away from the four, we'll make that four a three. Now we can add 10 to our tens place. So now that we have a 10 in our tens place, we can borrow from the 10, take one away, make it a nine, so that we can give 10 to our ones place. Now that we did all of that regrouping, we can subtract. 10 minus five is five, nine minus two is seven, and three minus one is two. Our answer is 275. Let's try another problem. We have two zeros in 800, so we are going to need to borrow from our hundreds place. So we cannot do zero minus one. There's nothing to borrow in the tens place, so we need to borrow from our hundreds place. We're taking one away, so our eight becomes a seven, and then we're adding 10 to our zero to make it 10. Now we have something to give to our ones place. So we're taking one away from our 10 to make it a nine, and then we're adding 10 to our zero to make it a 10. Now we can subtract. 10 minus one is nine. Nine minus nine is zero. And seven minus three is four. So our answer is 409. One more problem. We have two zeros in our ones and tens place, so we will need to borrow from our hundreds place. So cross it out, go to your hundreds place. We're borrowing from our two, so we're taking one away and making it a one. And then we're adding 10 to our zero to make it a 10. Now we can borrow, take one away from our 10 and make it a nine, and add 10 to our ones place to make it a 10. So now we can subtract 10 minus nine is one, nine minus four is five, and one minus one is zero. When you have a zero as your first digit, you don't need to put that, so it's just 51. Thank you for watching my video. I hope it helped. Check out my Teaching Exchange Classroom for worksheets and centers and download the three-digit subtraction task cards for more practice with this concept.